Welcome back, guys. In this episode, well, in this two-part episode, we are going to produce goods. By the end of this two-part episode, we are going to produce goods from this goods factory over here. So how the hell are we going to do it? Well, we've already got our infrastructure in place to ship uh, crude oil from this oil well down this line, down to Wellington and into this oil terminal here. And we've got our harbours set up to ship that crude from here over to here. Then what we need to do is get that oil, that crude oil from here over to this refinery, turn it into refined oil and then ship it back to here to be made into plastic. And then uh, also we're going to be shipping logs from here over to this sawmill. And then now I've I mean, I've kind of been um and ah in whether I should ship it down here and then ship it back and then ship it down here or ship it down here and ship it across there and then go back to there and have like a have a circle line here. Yeah. And I think I think I'm actually going to ship it back there and then have a line that comes down to here. I think. I think um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Um, so yeah, then um, and here's part of the coolness of this um, because we're shipping the plastic from here across here, we can use the same train to bring the goods because it uses the same wagons. We can bring the goods back to here. Then the goods get shipped down to here, back to the distribution hub, and then they go out to everything. Um, but that of course means that we've got to put in the distribution mechanism because at the moment we're only set up to distribute liquids. So there's a huge amount to do. And also I've decided that I'm going to change the Eastbourne line because currently we've got, this is feeding uh, Biggleswade and Eastbourne and I want to change that so that this just feeds uh, Biggleswade and then Biggleswade feeds uh, Eastbourne and the rest. So we're just going to change this line slightly because I, I think that's going to work a, a little bit nicer. So there's an absolutely huge amount to do. There's going to be multiple time lapses in this. Um, let's start off, though, by trying to position some stations, because I think you'll probably kind of want to follow what the hell I'm trying to do. All right, so over here, we need a station in here that's going to send a line around here and back. Boom. Okay, so then we want to run this little road. Let's have this going straight up here, if we can get it to go straight. Well, that's pretty straight, actually. It's kind of impressive. Let's actually have you flat. So, boom. Boom. And then we'll get rid of you. Nah, it's straight-ish. It'll do. It'll do for now. So that goes in there. All right, cool. And then might even have a little bit of a flatten with the old terrain brush. Boom. Smooth that out. Smooth that out. How's that looking? That's not looking too bad at all. Take the rough edge off there. That looks nice. All right, so then the track's going to go some way round here through this cliff, and then it's going to follow the mountains around here, which I'm going to have enormous freaking fun with. Um, and then it's going to go across here to this one. Now, this is where we run into a little bit of a problem, because how the hell do I get a station through here? Uh, and what I'm thinking of doing is um, extending this road under here and having the station here. So, let's see if we can make that happen. So let's get rid of some of this road. Uh, yay, yay. This is going to be tricky. Alright, so. What I think we're going to need to do is level up this terrain a bit, raise it up. So, will you drop down into a tunnel? You will. Okay, we've got ourselves a tunnel. Now, I could put a slopey one in. I tell you what, let, let's see if we can bring you around a little bit more. So, something... Ah, right. 
More like that, I think, is what we want. So, yeah, so then I can follow this slope and go around the... Have a nice curvy track around the mountain. That could work really nicely. Okay, now, um, like, why am I doing this? Why am I... Like, why didn't I just... Like, there's a sawmill right there. Why didn't I go to that one? And it's because I want to use this line and have this line, like, coming together and then have this line coming past here, out to here. That's the idea. Uh, this one is also a bit of a freaking nightmare. <laughs> Look at this. Ooh, I might go with that. I say 400,000. Ooh, look at that, built onto the cliff. Oh, I like that. That's pretty sexy. Now the question is, can I get the road to actually hook up to that? Oh, oh! Now th that I might take. That I might take. Oh, loving it! Oh, hell yeah! Because we don't have to have vehicles going up and down there. It's just like it's just purely for the for the visuals. But I like that. Right, let's have um, let's have a little bit of a of a fill in down here. Quite so abrupt there. There we go. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, I might end up playing around with that. We'll see. All right. So we've got that ridiculous station in there. Uh, well, you know what? From there, do I just run it like round there, like that? Yeah, that's that's all right, isn't it? I'll do. Boom. All right, and then a little bit of this. Okay, enough of that. <laughs> because otherwise, well, I've already spent what, like twenty minutes. Oh my god, um, it's going to be a lot of time lapse, I think. Okay, so I've got that coming into there. So then um, the tracks are going to come around there. The tracks are going to follow that up until that point, and then they'll tunnel under here and come up to here and then go back round to this station now huh, then we need uh, we need the track that's going to go from here down to here so we need one station pointing out in this direction we need another station over here that's going to send the plastic and bring the goods back and it needs to be close enough to this and close enough to this so so let's put you in. Um, do I want to come back a little bit? Oh no, we've got good coverage there. So let's pop you in there. Boom. I think I've got, I've got room to fit some buildings in there, maybe. So maybe just a very quick look. Could I could I like fit these in? Oh yes, I could. If I straightened this road up, I definitely could. Get some nice buildings in along there. All right, that's cool. Okay, so having put that in, uh, we need one station pointing out over there, and we need another station that's pointing up over there. So, it's, the, it's getting the elevation right on this is going to be the issue. So, now we definitely want to bridge across it. Now, I could go out over the tunnel. It's probably a smarter move, actually. So, you know, if I'm going to do that, that's going to take some messing around with to get, like, the right height and stuff. I'm going to have to put a bit of track in. I think that's better done in time-lapse, guys. But this time-lapse is going to be a little bit different because I'm actually going to do a commentary over the top of the time-lapse, <clears throat> which quite a few people have asked me to do. And I thought for this one, I thought this was appropriate to have a, a commentary over because, firstly, because it's quite a long time lapse. This is like 10 minutes of time lapse. Uh, it's just over an hour of building. Um, but there are a couple of things that I want to like specifically talk about. And one of them is this, because I really wanted this tunnel entrance to be like really impressive and I wanted it to look 
like it was like entering a real cliff face. I wanted it to look like um, a piece of human engineering. So, yeah, so I, I did spend a fair bit of time on this. Uh, and I wanted like all of the tunnels to look exactly the same, like all the tunnel entrances to be exactly lined up and exactly correct. But as well as having the, the, the tunnel entrances, like I seriously, I wanted it to have like a, a cliff look to it. So um, here, I, I just built the terrain up and then I went down to the small tool and just put a little bit of cliff on it. And I think it ended up not looking too bad. Now I had to kind of, because I put that in, I then had to kind of like build it up and like smooth it off a little bit and stuff. But I really think that that was time well spent because that area by those harbors and that big train station, uh, I, I want to decorate that up and put in like loads of stuff. And the same up this top end actually. I want to put in like lots of like warehouses and all kinds of stuff. Um, the, the, the problem was I then had to like build up the whole thing because the tunnels were surfacing so yeah <laughs> there's always something isn't there there's always something and that's why everything always takes like 10 times longer than I always think it's gonna take because I, I was thinking yeah you know maybe we can do like maybe I can, like a five minute time lapse or something and then do something else but no it, um, it did take a while and this bit at the top I actually messed this up because you see those bits of track that I've already put in? I should have put those in straight and I didn't, I angled them down. And that actually gave me a problem when I was trying to put my, um, my X's in. Um, so I, I, after this time lapse, I ended up redoing that. So I, I ran the tracks out straight and put my X's in and then but it like messed up the terrain. And I had to really mess around with it, but it all turned out fine. And it looks like exactly the same as you see it, uh, as I just did it. So now this, I guys, I think, and I'm gonna be really interested to see what you think, but I think this is the best line I've ever put in. And I, I, I actually said that, if, like after the time lapse, get back to the, to the normal commentary, and I was kind of thinking it at the time. And now that I've kind of looked at it, and this is definitely the best line I've ever put in. It's just sweet. It's just loads and loads of tunnels and bridges. And there's a cliff section come up that you're gonna love, I think. Um, I really played around with that bridge to get the, the, the bridge pillars even. Um, and the same with this section of bridge here, because the, the section was like slightly too long and it was like slightly longer at one end and shallower. And I want the, 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 the viaduct sections to kind of look like fairly natural and stuff. So I did take like a fair amount of time on this messing around and making sure that the terrain all kind of hooked together and this is the section coming up, like after we go around this bend, because there's quite a long tunnel in there. And then this is the bit, because this ends up just being awesome. This little section here, um, it's actually, I think it's actually the, yeah, it's this, this section in here. This ends up being the most awesome cliff. Now, not yet, because it's not done yet, there's actually another two tracks to go in here, which you'll see soon. But you see, this was another bit where the bridge pillars just didn't look right. And so I just like extended it a bit so that the, um, the bridge pillars would actually like line up nicely and give us three pillars instead of two kind of lopsided ones. It is something, I, I, I don't know whether the, I mean, I can't imagine that they're, they're going to change it now, but it'd be kind of nice if the, the, the bridge pillars worked a little bit differently than they do. It's sometimes like quite a lot of messing around to try and get them to actually look good. 
So this is where the other two lines are coming from. So this is this is where we're shipping the crude oil up. Now the, the first line I was putting in was the planks line, the, the logs and planks line. This is where I'm adding the crude oil coming up from the docks. And look at that cliff section now. Oh, I am gonna have so much fun decorating that. That is gonna be awesome. I'm gonna be putting like rocks on there and there's gonna be trees around the place. Just enough, this is gonna be fairly sparse with trees because I want the line to stand out so I don't want it like buried in trees or whatever. But at the same time, we want the scenery around it to look nice, so. Look at this, this, this is a really nice viaduct because it's quite, it drops quite steeply into that little valley. It ends up looking really good. So yeah, the, um, so that's the, that's the logs and planks line finished. So now I'm routing the, the oil, the crude oil off to the refinery to be turned into refined oil, which will then get shipped back. And at this point I ran out of money. But, um, but fortunately, I, I was able to borrow like a load more cash. I'm not sure what I took the loan up to. I think I might, might have took the loan up to the max, up to the 30 million. But uh, I managed, I managed to just about get everything done inside the, inside the amount of money. That, uh, now, this, this was a real pain because the bridge that was created here, first of all, it was like it was like too long and shallow at one end. So I lifted the terrain up so that um, we wouldn't get that kind of shallow shallowness at one end. And the, uh, the, like the overall bridge would be shorter. Um, but the, the bridge pillar that it was putting in was like right next to the track. And I had to play around with it to get it to move that pillar away from the track. Because it's it looks terrible when you've got like one pillar like right next to the track. Right, so this um, okay, this is where we're going to be shipping the plastic across to the goods factory, and this was the bit that was challenging because it it was a case of trying to get the station to be at like the right elevation like at both ends. So it needed to be like at the right elevation to hook up to the to the goods factory. But it also needed to be the right elevation to get over the tunnel that's running underneath that um, underneath that hill. But I it, it actually didn't take me as long to figure out as I thought it was going to take. And eventually it just pops in. I think I just angled it Did I No, I didn't. I was gonna, I was gonna angle it round, and then I thought, yeah, I'll move it a bit further out, just to make sure that I clear that, uh, clear that line. And then it all kind of hooked in pretty neatly. But again, like that viaduct, I was kind of, mm, it's too long and and shallow at one end, so I ran it a bit closer. And then you'll see, hopefully, that when I when I finally do it, the viaduct's not is is quite nice. It's quite, it's quite low, but it's kind of even on both sides of the road, which I think makes it look better. It just bridges that little valley, which I, I think looks quite nice. Right, last one going in, which is, this is, um, this is the line that's gonna bring the planks down to the goods factory. So we're at the goods factory now, and th this worked out really nicely. Although again, um, this bit, the bit that I'm about to put in now, I, although I, right, right now I'm, I'm taking it from the wrong place, it doesn't matter, I was just trying to like get the lay of the land. But that section, this section that I put in here, um, I should have put a straight section first and I didn't, so I, I, after this time lapse, I actually have to go back and change it because I couldn't get an X to go in. But yeah, here's what it is. So just the last little bit to go in. This is the last section of the last track to go in. And I ended up going with that viaduct. It, it, 
it kind of balanced out much more, much nicer on that side of the valley. Okay, so there you go. So I will hand you back to the um, to our normal scheduled programming. Okay, that was freaking awesome. <laughs> oh man, I love that. Especially that track going across there. Now we'll, we'll go around and look at the tracks in a second, but there's, a, there's an issue that I wanna clear up because um, I've gotta change this Eastbourne line. So what I want is for the trains to be um, like back here. So what I'm gonna do, now first of all, I'm not gonna need as many trains. So there you. we go. That's better. Right, so you're going to come down here. This one will come down and wait. Oh, now, how? Oh, that's a Biggleswade Wade train, that's why. So the Biggleswade Wade train comes down, that's fine. That's the next Eastbourne train, that's going to wait there. Now this one, we want this one to get the hell out of there. So what I'm going to do is, is um, reverse that, which means it'll pull out of the station. Good. Let's wait for the Biggleswade Wade train, that's fine. Next Biggleswade Wade train comes in, next Eastbourne train goes out. Right, we've got two Eastbourne trains waiting. Right, you, as soon as you get down here, boom, I'm gonna tell you to go to the depot and be sold. Right. Throw your filthy stuff out in the street. Right, good. The next Eastbourne train is coming in, and as soon as it gets down here, we're gonna do exactly the same thing, so you, Throw your filthy stuff out in the street. There we go. And off it goes. Right, now what I want to do, uh, that's that one. So now we've got two trains on that line. What I want to do is go up here. So where are you? So that's one of them. That's train 13 going up there. Train 37 is ahead of it. So train 37 is going to pull into here. Nice. Here's train thirteen. Uh, no, 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 where's train thirteen? Oh, there's train thirteen. Oh, oh, oh. do you have a little ride over the flying junction? Sweet. Right, I want you just beyond this bridge is fine. So, as long as you're about. Right, well, to be honest, anywhere here is fine. So we'll call it a day there. Right, that gives me 20 million. Now that's the train coming back, isn't it? Yeah, that's that one. Okay, perfect. So they're in the right stretch of track. What I want to do now is um, is change this. And it's a bit of a shame because we're going to lose this flying junction. So I think maybe we reutilize this flying junction. And maybe we have that for the passenger trains. Ooh, now that's an idea. Ooh, now that is an idea. Ooh, I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do that, but but I'm going to do it. <laughs> like, somehow I'm going to do it. Right, let's get rid of... Um, boom, 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 where do I want to do this from? I want to do this from, I don't know, probably about, about here. Just beyond this, this bridge. Now, why? Like, if you if you look at this route, you go, okay, well, you've got the the freight line here, you've got the passenger line here. Well, that kind of sucks because here's the freight line here, and here's the passenger line here. Well, you need to cross this over. The freight line should be coming on this side of it. Ah, well, if we run it through here, what we can do is hook it rather conveniently onto this here. It's gonna be so much easier if I just put a little bit on like that. And then hook that onto here. Now the only question is gonna be the speed. Oh, it's all 75. It's all 75. Peachy, what a solution. That works. So that comes around there. Then if we just pop up here and tell you to expand to four tracks. Now, the thing is, I do want to expand this to a 320, 
Like, do I do that now? Uh, but, uh, no, you know what? I'll do it offline. I'll do it offline. But I'll just I'll just do that for now. Um, but, 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 apply. I'll do the messing around converting them to 320s later. I was going to do the whole thing with 240s. Because I, I don't really like the longer platforms. I think it looks cooler with the short platforms. But um, it's... I just like... I don't think it's going to work like that. So, cha-ching. And that goes into there. Cha-ching. Trains will come up here, and then we want them to go out that way. Bosh. All right, so all I need to do now is um, is grab the Eastbourne line. So, bosh. And instead of going to Wellington Freight Station, so yeah, we're going to go to this station, Biggleswey Freight Station. And then we get rid of that. We can tell it to pick up a full load, still, if we want to. And that is that. All I've got to do now is put some uh, some signals on that line. And now that means I can, if I wanted to, rip out all this other stuff. But like I said, let's um, let's repurpose it. Let's repurpose it for... Well, I can get rid of that now, can't I? Yeah. Um, we can repurpose it for a passenger train. Which I think would be quite cool. So yeah, um, like we could put a, I don't know, we could have a, a passenger station like in here. It might be kind of nice. Like hooking up to there. Um, and then all we've got to do is run it up to join onto these tracks. And then it can go up here. It can use the same line as the freight line. Because like, why not? And then go around here. And then all we need to do is give it a way to... Well, we, I mean, we could even use the same station as this. Yeah, no reason why not. So, yeah, I think I think that's what we might do. Anyway, there we go. That's um, that's that. So, uh, very quickly, I just want to kind of show you the route. So, we're going to put in some lines very, very quickly because I'm going to do the rest of it. Well, not everything, but I'm going to like do quite a bit offline now. So, what we're going to do? We want a line that goes from the oil well, right? Whoops, let's try that again. That goes from the oil well to Aspatria. Bosch. Okay, so that's going to deliver the oil, the crude oil, into Aspatria. Then we've already got the existing lines, which will transfer that crude all the way down here to the docks. And it'll also transfer it from the docks to this docks. Now when it gets to this docks, then we want another line. Pop that up there. This is gonna go from this docks and transfer the crude oil to, I need to be able to connect to the train station, but I don't need to be able to get, yeah, 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 I can put it down here, that's fine, yeah. Bosh, put that in there, hook it up with a little bit of road. Boom. Okay, so what was I doing? Um, bum, 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 bum. So this line goes from Wellington Central, which is this new dock that we've put in, to um, uh, let's. I mean, it kind of doesn't really matter. Um, uh, let's put it into this one for now. Now, let me change the color of that line. Where are we? this is line two, isn't it? Let me change the color of that line so we can actually see it. And look at that. What a nice line that is. That's kind of beautiful. Alrighty. So, we've now got crude oil coming into here. Goes onto this station. Right, we need another line. This one, uh, let's use, I don't know, orange for the sake of argument. Uh, then we're going to go from this station up here. We're going to skip through this station. Don't care about that. Um, along this freaking awesome section here awesome bridge look at this cliff section how freaking cool is that there we've got bridge tunnel bridge bridge more bridges in the time lapse do you see how much freaking hassle i had getting these bridge pillars to actually like this bridge pillar to come away from this track here nightmare um and then yeah another bridge another tunnel all the way up to here uh no 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 not that far uh, yeah, 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 this is the refinery. I should put the 
Uh, I've got industry turned on. Why can't I see that? Why can't I see the industry? I've got the industry. Oh, because I've got the this on. Um, so that goes into here. Right, so that's the oil. The crude oil gets shipped up to the refinery, gets converted into oil, and then we want it to drop the oil off here. Bosch and Ashby West. Uh, now, why... I want that to go into it. Oh, because I haven't put any signals on yet. That's why. Uh, this I want um, to be going into platform five. So you go into terminal five, Bosch. All righty. So that's going to go to here. So now we've got oil coming into here. Right. Next, we get new line, which will make, I don't know. Uh, let's make this like slightly darker green. Right, then we want our logs. Our logs are going to come from this forestry over here. They're going to get shipped again. I've got a lot of this freaking awesome route. I love this route. That's the best route I've put in, like, probably ever. Uh, comes up to this station and then just goes straight back with the planks. Right? Then, need another line. Those planks... And the, the, the logs and planks can get transferred in the um, in the on, on the same uh, type of wagon, so those trains will be very profitable. Then we want uh, let's make this I don't know like blue will do. Then we're going to go from this station, bring the planks down this line into this station. So we've now got planks being delivered to this goods factory over here so we're, we're half of the way and by the way i think some people get confused about what this line means this means ore right so to make goods you either need planks and plastic or planks and steel right because somebody was somebody was saying to me um don't you need don't you need grain to make uh plastic no that's an ore so it's either oil or two grain to make one plastic Right, so that's how that works. Okay, so we've now got planks arriving here. All we need to do now is add one more line. This one is going to go from this station and transfer the oil that we've made here. Uh, sorry, the oil that we've made here and shipped back down to here over to the goods factory. Bosch. Okay, so we've now got planks and we've got, uh, sorry, plastic. <laughs> um, sorry, the oil gets converted into plastic. The plastic gets shipped up here, right? So we've got planks and we've got plastic. That translates into goods, but goods can be shipped on the same type of train as plastic. So now the plastic, can, sorry, the, the goods can get shipped straight back down here, right? To there. And then we need another line. Line seven, which will make, I don't know, yellow for the sake of argument. And that's going to go from here down to the station down here. And then it's going to go onto um, a boat. So we need another line, which is going to go from this harbour to... Now, this is the question. I don't know whether to put in another harbour, right... Or just have an extra terminal on here. And it kind of depends, like, what the capacity is. Because if we get the upgraded ships, uh, the next upgrade of ships, which I think carry like 250, we should be able to do it with a single line and therefore a single dock. Um, at least the, the oil. And then we might have to use two platforms for the plastic. But, like, for now... Um, we could say, okay, it will we'll crank this up to two docks, apply, and this will go from uh, Wellington Sidings into Wellington Central. Cha-ching. And is that a nice line? No, I should have angled that more. It's crossing over a little bit. I mean, it's not horrendous, but... And it comes in nicely at this end. But look at this. Because... Because I've extended that, this is now going to try and miss this, which is going to slow this down. So I probably should now re-angle that so it's coming out wider. Mind you, I'm going to convert this into... Um, I'm probably going to convert this. In fact, I think I'm going to have to convert this into a double dock as well. 
Uh, if I convert it to a double lock, vehicle, well, vehicle in the way. I just wanted to make sure that I, I could actually put it in with, with that there. And yeah, that goes in. Alrighty, so there you go. And once the stuff is back there, uh, don't need that, go away. Um, once the stuff, the goods have been transferred back to here, this is our distribution point, right? So then we just need to get um, some trains on here that can distribute the goods because currently we can only distribute li liquids. Now the question is, do I double up the platforms and quad track? Do we run them on the same tracks? Um, and just have multiple platforms, which is, I, I think what we're going to do. That's what I think we're going to do. Um, it'll kind of depend. I mean, like, for this bit up to Biggles Wade, because Biggles Wade is, is feeding uh, Aspatria, Chudley, and Eastbourne, we might need to quad track that. Because it might be too busy, right? So, there you go. But that is the, 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 the whole thing. That if, I, if we can get all of that running... We have goods being shipped around, but that's still quite a lot of work. Um, I have put in all of my all of my X's on all, on all the tracks. Uh, I've got to do the signalling. Um, I've got to faff around with with. Mind you, well, I've done that. Yeah, so actually, there's not really like necessarily that much to do. I do want to clean this up. So yeah, um, let me figure all of that out. And in the next episode, it's going to be all about getting it running, getting the oil down, getting the planks made, getting the plastic made, shipping it all to the goods, and then the distribution. It should be a load of freaking fun. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you're loving the complexity of it. And I hope you come back for the next episode for loads of fun. I'll catch you for that. Leave me your comments. Peace out.